Hello, my name is Mitchell Anderson. I am a current member of the Executive of the General Council, uh, and we're looking for a new member to join us. The Executive sets the big picture vision and strategy and direction uh, for our church, and we need a new person to join us at the table. Right now, especially, we're looking for uh, women or non-binary people who are racialized, or young adults, or people who are diaconal or designated lay ministers to enrich the diversity at the table. So if that's you, uh, please uh, put your name forward. Or if you know someone who uh, would enrich the executive's diversity in one of those ways, uh, encourage them to put their name forward uh, so that we can benefit as a church uh, from the experience and perspective of more people uh, to help us. Applications are open until September 25th, and you can learn more at the link below. Hey folks, I'm Alan Hall. I serve as the uh, Executive Officer for Ministry and Employment at the General Council Office and will be the lead staff resource for the total compensation study that the General Council has directed be undertaken. This is an exciting piece of work that is uh, going to look at our compensation and its impact on Indigenous, racialized women, persons with disabilities, and uh, uh, to SLGBTQIA plus ministers. We also need to look at the sustainability of our compensation uh, standards for communities of faith. If we don't have communities of faith can't afford ministry personnel, then we don't have positions uh, for ministry personnel to serve in. It'll be an interesting piece of work to do. Uh, we welcome uh, folks from all uh, regional cost of living groups uh, and uh, representatives from uh, the, the identities uh, that I, I mentioned. Uh, September 25th is the deadline. Click below. We have passed many hateful things against people of sexual minorities. The United Church of Canada is moving a next step in issuing an apology to the two SLGBTQI plus people and communities. We are looking for volunteers who can help to come up with an apology. People who can give voice to the lament. People who can give voice to recognition and commitment of the church. Would you be that person? Or do you know somebody who can do that kind of work? Please see the link below for the nominations. Thank you.